What is up, YouTube? I've had an interesting morning, so I figured I would make a recording. Uh, we're going to start off in Arena, actually, where you guys are going to see me get my ass beat by a team with V in it. Now, let's actually, well, first of all, let's pay homage. Let's give this guy some props. Uh, Eric CG, good job, man. You made a killer party. Let's actually look at these stats. The attack share went to him, 76.9%, uh, but the max damage actually went to me. I have a stronger team with higher stats that are doing more damage. It just doesn't matter when you apply status to it. Look at the total damage. Look how much damage this guy got to do to me just from standing around. Now, he does have a very powerful ray, but I think the majority of this... Uh, let's just watch the fight. I think the majority of this is just because of status. Let me turn that down a little bit for you guys. So I actually start off pretty strong here. Um, I target who I want. I get back there to his healer. Uh, it gets close for a second because he starts getting some status on me right here. But I do manage to take V out. Um, Balin drops too. Uh, his ray gets to retaliate here and bunches up my whole team. And now everybody is... Well, my ray is stunned. He is shocked. Uh, I have somebody back here. It's not doing that much though because again... Uh, v is statusing everybody, <laughs> so uh, it's about time for me to actually go through my Apex, Apex, my arena roster, uh, and I can't wait to do that and actually make a good arena team. I'm going to be messing around with status, stuff like that. It's just nice to see V really having an impact on the meta, all right? Speaking of which, though, uh, I do need to address something. Uh, I caught some hate today. I caught some hate today from somebody that said that I shouldn't talk about this game at all because I misled people into thinking that V is a mage. And he's like, he doesn't even have any spells. And I'm like, yeah, way to quote my video. It's exactly what I said. I said, he looks like a mage. He has no spells. Um, and mind you, you know, I came out with that video, like, literally within 24 hours of this character dropping. I just wanted to put something out. I knew this guy was going to be a cheese bomb, and I just wanted to put the good word out. I did the best that I could. Now, I think everybody knows that watches my vids that everything and anything I say is just my opinion. It's, it's exactly that. And you can apply that to any other YouTuber out there, too. Um, but to be told that <laughs> was it really blew my mind for somebody to crap on somebody else's work when they have none to show themselves uh it's just sad to me but you know what you're never going to be able to please everyone right uh good luck finding a video out there with a thousand likes and zero dislikes i it just never happens so it is what it is but i did want to address uh, some of the things about V. First of all, the verdict is still out on his stat scaling. Okay, I have made videos. I have asked for help. Uh, you know, I, I, I put the white flag up and I asked for help. Nobody has managed to prove his stat scaling wrong. Like, as of right now, I've specifically asked people that say that they have this character fully done and decked out. I have asked them to check his stat scaling for me. I'm still waiting. Um, I'm just getting him to an SC uh, threshold where I can start testing out some of this stuff myself. Um, but I think uh, I think a lot of the issue comes from Thundamagura Ring, that ability that reads like it's going to take some of your intelligence modifier modifier it's going to take some of your intelligence and add that to your strength you know increasing the amount of damage that you do uh the problem with all this is when i sat there for four hours in my kitchen trying to do the math and you know running a, a physical attack build versus running an intelligence stat build the math did not check out it, it just it wasn't right and it's kind of hard to figure this stuff out when we really don't have a damage formula. So, I mean, I literally sat there in my kitchen for like four hours just recording his damage numbers and switching between 
an attack build to an intelligence build, and it didn't make sense. I was honestly confused. Then somebody, a JP whale, reached out and said that it is a one-to-one -one stat ratio. Um, and honestly, that kind of sounded funny to me. It doesn't sound to me like that's the way that it should work. Um, and, you know, even my homie D DK had an issue with that, too. He's like, I don't think that's how it works. And I told him, I don't think that's how it works either, but it, it reflects the math. I wouldn't just take something that somebody said and pass it on to the masses uh, if it didn't actually work out with the math that I was doing. Because when this guy told me it's a one-to-one -one stat ratio, all of a sudden, all the math that I was looking at actually made sense. Um, and that is why I felt comfortable enough to pass that on, okay? Um, so, but the verdict is still out, and who knows? Uh, it could even be a glitch, you know? Um... And honestly, I, I don't know at this point. I don't. Um, if anybody has actually tested out his stat scaling, strength versus intelligence, please leave me a comment. Please let me know. Um, but then I really thought about it, and maybe they built this guy like this on purpose. Uh, and my thoughts there are, what if you can't get his cane? Okay, if you cannot get his cane, uh, that is going to affect how well you can status people. And at that point, you may want to pursue the magic path. You may want to pick up some spells that have status in them. Uh, same thing with, you know, AOE. What if you are trying to status a whole map full of people at the same time? Uh, you know, with his cane, yeah, you can do it with basic attacks. I've made a video running tower just statusing everybody. You got to switch between targets. Um, but it still is going to be easier to just status everybody with some sort of AOE that specifically drops the status that you want. Uh, things like Venomous Rainfall, Poison Cloud, stuff like that. Um, so they may have just built him like that for that reason. It's just because if you can't get his cane, at least you can fall back on spells and you can status people with spells. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. Now, again... You know, I, I, I don't know. It, it could even be glitched, you know. But the fact of the matter is, it's been well over a week, uh, and nobody has been able to get back to me and actually, uh, you know, give me a concrete solution to this guy's stat scaling. Um, and, you know, when I got some kid telling me that I misled a bunch of people, uh, honestly, I'm going to stand firm. I don't think I misled anybody. I was one of the first people to drop a video on V. I don't think people realize how difficult it is to review a character that's been out for 24 hours. Um, other people could have made reviews, and I think they purposely didn't because they don't want to get things wrong. Because then some 12-year-old's going to challenge you when... I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even think this kid watched my vid because he tried calling me a kid. And Anybody that's been around the channel, they know I'm not a goddamn kid. <laughs> so, And also, some of the things that he was trying to say to me were pretty much the same exact thing that I said. In the like, One of the things he said to me was like, he doesn't even have spells. And I'm like, yes, I said that in the video. So, uh, I don't know, it's just bizarre to me. Like I said, uh, I don't get people that try to crap on other people's work when they don't have any of their own work to begin with. So I told them, hey, when you start making videos, send me a link. I'd like to see how well you do with this. Uh, but I would just like to remind everybody, I put the vid out on V as soon as he dropped just because I wanted to put a good word out for this character because it was very obvious that he was going to be a super powerful cheese bomb. Um, now, the path that you take there is still somewhat shrouded, okay? Like, uh, I know the outcome. I did not fully know the process, uh, and rightfully so. The, this character's been out, you know, at the time for 24 hours before I recorded on him. I did the best I could um, with the SC that I had. I tested as many things as I could, and you guys also got to figure, I still had two other characters to review, and I still have other games to keep up on and try to make reviews. I'm still working on another game right now as we speak. So I just wanted to put something out um, on V. The verdict is still out. If anybody would like to leave a comment and maybe put some of these issues to rest, uh, that would be great. 
So uh, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, right? And don't be so judgmental of other people's work, especially when you have none to show yourself. I guess that is the lesson for today. And I'm going to get back to it. I honestly, I'm really behind, <laughs> really behind in this event. Uh, we might as well go through a checklist real quick. If you're going through this event, you know, I think the biggest thing here is prisms, at least for me. That is what I'm working on right now. Uh, I want to get all these prisms. Um, and it's it's difficult when you have all three of the characters and you're trying to get all of the prisms for all of them. Uh, but I would concentrate on getting the prisms done. Look at that. I don't even, I, I didn't even get all the tickets. And I probably won't since I have all of the characters. Uh, but these prisms are where it's at right now. And look at that. I didn't even get the overture model yet. That will probably be the very last thing that I get. Um, we have so much Valentine's Day stuff. So that is the trading space. Here's what my alchemy lab is looking like. I really, I might have to pick and choose which one of these items to just drop dead. I don't know. Maybe Nero's Pendant. The thing is, Nero's Pendant actually looks very useful for tower because, you know, if you're character gets almost wiped you know on the very next wave he's going to recover 30 percent of his max hit points uh when close to death at battle start yeah so this could be very useful um you know depending on what you're trying to do ultimately for me it's going to come down to ebony and ivory the pistols and cavalier the motorcycle um these are both interesting items Obviously, this one is Thunder Element. Uh, the guns are non-elemental, but obviously the guns are a six-star weapon, so I'm going to concentrate on that just because of the simple fact that this has great stats on it. Uh, for a weapon that they're letting us grind out, um, it's got a high attack. It does give some mind. Physical attack damage to beasts, creatures, undead, and spirits, 8%. Uh, usually, we're used to like 4%. So 8% is a big deal. They're pretty much, in my opinion, they're doubling the percent. Um, but, you know, this is only going to work on beasts, creatures, undead, and spirits. So only half of the things in the game that we fight, you're going to get this uh, physical attack damage bonus. I think it's very nice, especially with the stats, uh, which is why this thing's been a priority. But truth be told, uh, this motorcycle, well, I mean, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want this? Uh, it's It's... Thunder attribute, regular attacks have, regular attacks deal extra thunder damage, you know, that is, that is always nice, I don't think this is a bad item at all, I'm definitely going to try to finish it up, uh, and that's pretty much what your boy's doing right now, luckily for me, I have about a hundred of the orange orbs, so I'm going to be cashing out on those hardcore, I did not think that I would finish this event so close, but like I said, I've been working on other projects, reviewing other things, pulling on other gotchas. Oh, man, it's been brutal. Uh, so I'm going to do the best that I can here. I really want to finish this up on a strong note and get those weapons done. And I most definitely, uh, I want the prisms. The prisms are where it's at. We have three days left. I got 100 orange orbs. Wish me luck, everybody, and I will see you out there. Maybe after I rework my arena team. You know, honestly, guys, that arena team has lasted me. Like, I have not made any tweaks or changes to it for all to, since ever. That was like the first arena team that I put together on this account. So it served me pretty well, but I think it's just about time to go in there and make a few changes. Uh, v might just be going into that party so he can status the shit out of everybody. Also, the higher I get up in Arena, the more I notice more and more people taking advantage of the status route, you know, trying to status your enemy so they're just standing there like an idiot while you destroy them. Uh, from my understanding, as you get into the upper echelon of the ranking system in, in the Arena, you're going to run into more and more parties that are going to use status to destroy you, and rightfully so. It's a pretty smart strategy to do, and I'm really starting to get to that point right now, so... I'm going to be reworking my arena team, and I'm going to be trying to finish this event out. I suggest you all do the same. After that, I will actually start um, start running a girl's dream over here. 
So, also, guys, uh, we I will be covering the items that like the Valentine's Day items that you can trade envelopes for because there are some items there that look actually very very powerful so we will be covering that but you know I just kind of figured I wanted to put this event to bed first before I move on over um, and I'm sure other youtubers have already covered the whole Valentine's Day thing check out that nerd DK big MCC's probably covered it uh, Buddha fish I'm sure has covered it already so if you guys are wondering about the Valentine's Day uh, items and events and stuff, go check out their channels. You will probably get the answers that you want. And if you want to know what my opinion is on it, well, you'll just have to wait for a little bit, but we will be going over those items. And I got more content to come on other games. So thank you for your support, everybody, and I will see you out there.